Hi everyone, I'm AJ Smith for Smart Asset. We're joined right now by Jason Steele of jasonsteele.com, a credit card and travel expert. Now, you're the guy who can get us a lot of miles and travel for free. What got you started in this? Well, I uh, grew up in Atlanta, Georgia, and that's a major city, but in a vastly rural region. So you want to visit family, you want to take a vacation, you're not really going to get in your car and drive 12 hours, you're going to jump on the plane. We have the largest airport in the world in our hometown, or the busiest one. As a family, we're just a bunch of people who love finding deals. We always call each other up and say, hey, guess what? You know, there's a big sale, or if you do this and this, you get, you know, 10% off or whatever. So uh, that combined with my love of travel, I started looking for travel deals. And of course, that led us to frequent flyer miles. Um, eventually, I realized you just couldn't fly often enough to earn enough miles to travel a lot. The, the plane only goes so fast, and you only earn one mile per uh, mile you flew. So it worked out to, you know, 500 miles an hour. That's not a lot. Whereas a credit card, uh, I discovered, would give you 25, 50, even 100,000 miles just for spending 30 seconds filling out the application, you use the card for a few months, all of a sudden you have as much miles as you would have if you flew around the world a few times. So that really got me hooked. And I was reading a lot of um, travel advice, uh, especially in a lot of mainstream press, and it wasn't really appealing to me, they would say, you know, pack less to save on baggage fees. I said, well, what kind of advice is that? So. Um, I said, well, I can do better than this. So I started reading travel blogs, and I started writing about tips and tricks. It turns out there's all sorts of loopholes uh, in these travel reward programs, either through the credit cards or through the airlines, uh, where, um, you know, for one reason or another, you can get you know, tens of thousands of points by kind of playing their game to win. Uh, <laughs> a lot of people think, though, that sounds a little complicated, but can anyone really jump into this game? Well, certainly it is complicated, and just like any subject, there, there's people who are at a, a very advanced level. On the other hand, there are people who are at a very uh, introductory level can start to grasp the basics of it. Um, you know, the first step, of course, for people who pay their credit card bills in full and don't carry a balance and, and incur interest, people who don't do that should certainly be using a rewards card, and they should choose that card in part based on what the sign-up bonus is. The, the credit card industry is so competitive that we as cardholders are in the driver's seat, and they will, you know, bestow all these valuable points and miles just to, to give them a chance to earn our business, which no other business is going to do that. So it's, it's really a nice place to be. You know, the next step would be to look online. Um, you know, I write for, uh, you know, credit.com about credit cards. But I also write for the Points Guy, which is a, one of the most popular uh, sites about points and miles. I also write for Noob Traveler, which is a great uh, site for people at the introductory level just to get them started. Well, great. Jason, thank you so much for taking the time to talk sure. with us today. Anyone can get in this game, he says. Thanks for watching. I'm AJ Smith for Smart Asset.